Rashim Carter's head was severed from his body, his spinal cord separated from his head and his body parts were scattered after the 25-year-old went missing in October, family attorney Ben Crump said at a news conference. His remains were found a month after he went missing near Taylorsville, about 63 miles southeast of Jackson, Mississippi. Carter was reported missing on October 2 in Laurel, about 22 miles southeast of where his remains were found. Initially, officials said they had no reason to believe foul play was involved but also said the case remained under investigation with the help of state investigators and the FBI. Family believes he was lynched and dismembered. They're calling on the U.S. Justice Department to investigate the death, and a text he sent his mother saying white men in trucks were trying to kill him. The medical examiner's report did not specifically say Carter was dismembered, CNN reported. Two dozen bones and fragments were found scattered across two acres and evidence found during the autopsy indicated that animals had scavenged Carter's remains. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigation reportedly said due to the condition of the remains, the medical examiner could not reasonably determine a cause of death. Investigators had not found evidence to corroborate the allegation that Carter was being followed. To this date, we do not have evidence of foul play, but everything is on the table. Until we turn over every stone, it's still an open investigation. Ben Crump called it a nefarious, evil act. Somebody murdered Rasheem Carter, he said. And we cannot let them get away with this. There is nothing natural about this. This screams out for justice. What we have is a Mississippi lynching in 2022, Crump said. Attorney Carlos Moore, who joined Crump and the family at the news conference, compared the case to that of Emmett Till. I thought we had progressed in Mississippi. But we are living in the Jim Crow era 2.0, and there seems to be a surge of white supremacy. There's no reason that Rasheem Carter should have been killed.